The Buryats Buryat, Burad translate. Buryad, Mongolian, Buryad, Buryad, numbering approximately 500,000, are the largest indigenous group in Siberia, mainly concentrated in their homeland, the Buryat Republic, a federal subject of Russia. They are the major northern subgroup of the Mongols. Buryats share many customs with other Mongols, including nomadic herding, and erecting gurs for shelter. Today, the majority of Buryats live in and around Ulan Ude, the capital of the republic, although many live more traditionally in the countryside. They speak a central Mongolic language called Buryat. According to UNESCO's 2010 edition of the Atlas of the World's Languages in Danger, the Buryat language is classified as severely endangered. History It is most likely that the ancestors of modern Buryats are Bayerku and Kurikans who were part of the tribal union of the TLA. The TLA, in turn, came from the Dingaling. The first information about Dingaling appeared in the sources of IV three centuries. BCE, the name, Buryad, is mentioned as one of the forest people for the first time in the secret history of the Mongols, possibly 1240. It says Hochi, the eldest son of Genghis Khan, marched north to subjugate the Buryats in 1207. The Buryats lived along the Angara River and its tributaries at this time. Meanwhile, their component, Barga, appeared both west of Baikal and in northern Buryatia's Barguzan Valley. Linked also to the Bargas were the Kori Tumd along the Arig River in eastern Kosgol province and the Angara. A Tumid rebellion broke out in 1217, when Genghis Khan allowed his viceroy to seize 30 Tumid maidens. Genghis Khan's commander Dorbe the Fierce of the Dorbeds smashed them in response. The Buryats joined the Orits challenging the imperial rule of the Eastern Mongols during the Northern Yuan period in the late 14th century. Historically, the territories around Lake Baikal belonged to Mongolia. Buryats were subject to Tashit Khan and Setsin Khan of Khalkha Mongolia. When the Russians expanded into Transbaikalia Eastern Siberia in 1609, the Cossacks found only a small core of tribal groups speaking a Mongol dialect called Buryat and paying tribute to the Khalkha. However, they were powerful enough to compel the Ket and Samoyed peoples on the Khan and the Avanks on the lower Angara to pay tribute. The ancestors of most modern Buryats were speaking a variety of Turkic Tungusic dialects at that time. In addition to genuine Buryat Mongol tribes Bulagid, Kori, Ekhired, Kangudor, that merged with the Buryats, the Buryats also assimilated other groups, including some Orits, the Khalkha, Tungus, Avanks, and others. The Kori Barga had migrated out of the Barguzan eastward to the lands between the Greater Kingan and the Argun. Around 1594 most of them fled back to the Aga and Nurchinsk in order to escape subjection by the Doors. The territory and people were formally annexed to the Russian state by treaties in 1689 and 1727, when the territories on both the sides of Lake Baikal were separated from Mongolia. Consolidation of modern Buryat tribes and groups took place under the conditions of the Russian state. From the middle of the 17th century to the beginning of the 20th century, the Buryat population increased from 77,000 to, to 300,000. Another estimate of the rapid growth in people referring to themselves as Buryat is based on the clan list names paying tribute in the form of a sable skin tax. This indicates a population of about 77,000 in 1640 rising to 157,000 in 1823 and more than a million by 1950. The historical roots of the Buryat culture are related to the Mongolic peoples. After Buryatia was incorporated into Russia, it was exposed to two traditions, Buddhist and Christian. Buryats west of Lake Baikal and Olkhan are more Russified, and they soon abandoned nomadism for agriculture, whereas the eastern Transbaikal Buryats are closer to the Khalkha, may live in yurts and are mostly Buddhists. In 1741, the Tibetan branch of Buddhism was recognized as one of the official religions in Russia, and the first Buryat Datsun Buddhist monastery was built. The second half of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century was a time of growth for the Buryat Buddhist Church 48 Datsuns in Buryatia in 1914. Buddhism became an important factor in the cultural development of Buryatia. Because of their skills in horsemanship and mounted combat, many were enlisted into the Amur Cossacks host. During the Russian Civil War most of the Buryats sided with the white forces of Baron Ungern Sternberg and Adaman Semyonov. 
They formed a sizable portion of Ungern's forces and often received favorable treatment when compared with other ethnic groups in the Barons' army. After the revolution, most of the Lamas were loyal to Soviet power. In 1925, a battle against religion and clergy in Buryatia began. Datsuns were gradually closed down and the activity of the clergy was curtailed. Consequently, in the late 1930s the Buddhist clergy ceased to exist and thousands of cultural treasures were destroyed. Attempts to revive the Buddhist cult started during World War II, and it was officially re-established in 1946. A revival of Buddhism has taken place since the late 1980s as an important factor in the national consolidation. In the 1930s, Buryat Mongolia was one of the sites of Soviet studies aimed to disprove Nazi race theories. Among other things, Soviet physicians studied the endurance and fatigue levels of Russian, Buryat Mongol, and Russian Buryat Mongol workers to prove that all three groups were equally able. In 1923, the Buryat Mongol Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic was formed and included Baikal Province with Russian population. The Buryats rebelled against the communist rule and collectivization of their herds in 1929. The rebellion was quickly crushed by the Red Army with loss of 35,000 Buryats. The Buryat refugees fled to Mongolia and resettled, however, only a few of them joined the Shambhala rebellion there. In 1937, in an effort to disperse Buryats, Stalin's government separated a number of counties rayons from the Buryat Mongol Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic and formed Ust Orta Buryat Autonomous Okrug and Agin Buryat Autonomous Okrug. At the same time, some rayons with Buryat populations were left out. Fearing Buryat nationalism, Joseph Stalin had more than 10,000 Buryats killed. Moreover, Stalinist purge of Buryats spread into Mongolia, known as the Incident of Lumbi. In 1958, the name, Mongol, was removed from the name of the republic, Buryat ASSR. BASSR declared its sovereignty in 1990 and adopted the name Republic of Buryatia in 1992. The constitution of the republic was adopted by the People's Khural in 1994, and a bilateral treaty with the Russian Federation was signed in 1995. The Buryat national tradition is ecological by origin in that the religious and mythological ideas of the Buryat people have been based on a theology of nature. The environment has traditionally been deeply respected by Buryats due to the nomadic way of life and religious culture. The harsh climatic conditions of the region have in turn created a fragile balance between humans, society and the environment itself. This has led to a delicate approach to nature, oriented not towards its conquest but rather towards a harmonious interaction and equal partnership with it. A synthesis of Buddhism and traditional beliefs that formed a system of ecological traditions has thus constituted a major attribute of Buryat eco-culture. <laughs> Subgroups According to the Buryat creation myth, there were eleven Buryat tribes or clans. And according to the myth all eleven tribes are descendants of a man and a mysterious but beautiful creature that turns to swan during day and a woman during the night. After the two married, the man asked her to give him her wings so that she would not turn into swan anymore. However, it is said that after some time the woman asked for her wings back and flew away never to return. Today there are a number of different Buryat tribes, or clans. Topic. Major tribes Galzud Hengelder Abazaj Sono Bajandaj Bulagad Kongodor Kori Buryats Ekarid Sartul Buryats Songol Tabungud Tabuanud other tribes Alair Ashibagad Adigan Komnigan Buryats Ikonat Notable people Valery Inkajinov, French actor Baljinama Sirampilov, Russian archer Yuri Yekonurov, former Prime Minister of Ukraine Agvan Dorjiev, Buddhist monk, tutor of the 13th Dalai Lama Dashi Namdakov, sculptor Irina Panteva, first Asian top model 
Yule Brinner, Aktorals O.C. in Russian List of Bryats in Russian Wikipedia for more articles. See also Ust Orda Buryat Okrug Again Buryat Okrug List of indigenous peoples of Russia Far Eastern Republic Buddhism in Russia Shamanism in Siberia Footnotes Topic. Further reading Shimamura, Ape. The Root Seekers, Shamanism and Ethnicity Among the Mongol Buryats. Kanagawa, Japan, Shumpusha Publishing, 2014. ISBN 978-4-86110-397-1. Ethnic Groups — Buryats J. G. Grulin, Siberia. Pierre Simon Pallas, Samlingen Historischer Nekriken über die Mongolischen Volkerschaften, St. Petersburg, 1776 to 1802. M. A. Castron, Versich einer Bariatischen Sprachler, 1857. Sir H. H. Haworth, History of the Mongols, 1876 to 1888. The film A Pearl in the Forest, Moylan illustrates the heavy price paid by the Buryats in the 1930s during the Stalinist purges. Murphy, Dervla, 2007. Silverland: A Winter Journey Beyond the Urals. London: John Murray. Natalia Zhukovskaya, ed. Bryati. Moskva, Naka, 2004. A Classic General Description. Buryat supermodel identifies herself as Siberian Eskimo. Mitochondrial DNA variation in two South Siberian Aboriginal populations: Implications for the Genetic History of North Asia. Anthology of Buryat Folklore, Pushkinsky Dom, 2000 CD. External links <inaudible> <inaudible>